Hey there, I'm Darren. A lot of times it's good to know what version your SOLIDWORKS file came from or was last saved in. Now it could happen to do with maybe your engineering ecosystem is a mixed bag of SOLIDWORKS versions, or it could just be a situation where maybe performance isn't working the way you think and maybe it's you know some old files sitting in that large assembly that you've got. Well there's a real easy way to figure out exactly when the last time you saved your SOLIDWORKS files was. Let me show you. Anyone who's used SOLIDWORKS for more than a couple of releases is bound to have seen this message. What it means is that the file that you're looking at was last saved in a previous release of SOLIDWORKS. And if you try to click Save Now, it's simply going to upgrade it to the new file format. Well, for a variety of reasons, it's great to know what version that file last came from, especially when you live in a multi-version environment. Well, if you go to Windows Explorer, you can simply right-click on one of the column headings and add a new column called SOLIDWORKS Last Saved With. This will simply detail out the last version SOLIDWORKS used to save any one of your files. Now if you don't want to go through this step, you can simply right click on any SOLIDWORKS file and go to its Windows properties, and under Details, you'll also see the last version of SOLIDWORKS that this file was saved with. Then you can just go ahead and use your Windows functions to go ahead and apply those settings to all subfolders and you're all set. You can pull off something similar inside of your PDM vault you just have to add a variable called SOLIDWORKS model version. The version will actually display as a version code, and as long as you accompany the version code chart next to it, you'll be able to see what version name applies to that code. I'm Darren at GoEngineer. Thanks for watching.